Hey, it's your boy DJ Wolf. Um, I got a couple things on my mind here. I, I was over the weekend. I forgot to also mention uh, there were two notable deaths that happened. Uh, the first one was that I heard of was Auntie Fee. And I remember watching Auntie Fee's uh, videos a couple of years ago on YouTube. I didn't try to figure out who I was trying to figure out who who she was. Now I remember she was best known for being on a number of shows. Uh, hold on a second. Most notably, she was on a uh, Kevin Hart show, Real Husbands of Hollywood. And it, it dawned on me who she was. And I said, "Right, yeah, I'm actually." And I think about. It, I do remember watching her videos on YouTube. A number of years, a few years ago, where she became an internet sensation in 2014, and eventually it led her to a thriving career in television. Now I'm not sure. In, uh, in matter of fact, television and movies. I didn't know they said she was in a uh, barbershop. I didn't realize she was in barbershop. I had to look it up and verify that. But you know, it started. It launched her career. Her son helped her launch her career. As a media giant, as a you know, a media uh, well-known media person, which surprised me, and she got to start right on YouTube. Sure did. But in any case, uh, I started to hear that she was 59, and she wasn't even that old. I said, like, "Wow, I thought she was a little older than that, but she was only 59." And um, she died from a heart attack. Understand as a result of uh, a heart heart complication. Let me rephrase that. She died as a result of a heart complication. But um, the one thing that did bother me about her YouTube shows is she was cooking the stuff called kind of crazy stuff. And it's like, really? That's what she was known for? Just throwing stuff in the pan and just cooking it up. I just happened to watch one of the videos that was that somebody reposted on YouTube uh, yesterday. I was like, really? That's what she was popular for? Just throwing stuff in the pan and frying it. And I said, that's crazy. And one of the things that she was cooking up was something which she had a concoction of. It was, uh, I guess it was she made up uh, flour, butter, and sugar, and something else. And I was like, what the hell is that? And she started putting some cranberries and some, you know, some little cranberry raisins in there and, and, and frying it up. And I was like, man, come on. She was eating all kind of crazy stuff. And I was like, mm, mm You know, I hate to hate to hear that about her for real. Because she was, you know, she you know, she built you know, she built a little bit of a brand for herself. But it was just the outrageous stuff that people like. Now I was just talking about that. And, um, you know, people like the entertainment, outrageous entertainment and shit. And uh and I was like, wow. And they never never got her phenom, but you know, just you know, I hate to hear hear that. Uh my condolences to her family. The other one, uh I heard about later on that over the weekend was music icon, legend, Chuck Berry passed away at the age of nine. And Chuck Berry was wow, he was one of my idols. Real talk. He he really was the pioneer of rock and roll as far as I'm concerned. He was a pioneer of uh he made rock and roll what it what what it became today. You know, or what it was a few years ago. But He helped launch the genre into an iconic genre, and I, you know I know people tomorrow. Elvis, no man, El, no Elvis. Elvis was one of the legends that helped make it popular, but he was not an innovator of the music. He became a popular singer because of the music. Chuck Berry, in essence, launched helped launch the genre. He launched the genre. Oh my God, these people cannot drive. 
I know you're not waiting on me. What are you doing right there for? God, these people. I, I, I swear, this area got the worst drivers on the planet. The worst drivers. Hold on. Yeah, he was a pioneer. I mean, of uh, the music. Real talk. But he, Chuck Berry really should have gotten a lot more respect uh, from uh, the industry because he really invented the genre of rock and roll. He did. There's no doubt about that. And he was just an incredible guitarist, man. And showman. He was, hey, that's the one, the one of the things I liked about Chuck Berry and guys like Chuck Berry. Chuck Berry had a lot of showmanship. James Brown had showmanship. I saw him at a concert in 1982. Uh, James Brown. And he, he was just a, a, the ultimate showman. You know? If you're going to be in the business about about the business of entertaining, you should be a showman. I, I've always said that. You know, he, he just he Chuck Berry. He was a, he was a, he was a classy. He was a sharp dresser too. On top of that, man, you know, and he he put out cranked out a lot of hits, man. And he played well into his eighties. So you know, roughly uh, through most of his career, his career, man, he has spanned well over six decades. Legend is just, oh my God, it's just, I'm, I'm, I'm just like, wow. But, you know, he did it all in 90 years, and I don't know what else to say. He, he lost a gyro that, that, that still stands to this day, you know. And as far as I'm concerned, he's the true king of rock and roll. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. Hail, hail, rock and roll to the king of rock and roll, Mr. Chuck Berry. Rest in heaven. Sir. It's DJ Wolf. That's all I got. Talk to you guys later.